the day, I'm asking a not very important question, but one that I'm curious about. Can a minivan ever be considered cool? Now, right off the bat, 95% of the times, the answer is no, a resounding no. But minivans have gotten better, and I've become a father, so I've decided to take a look at one to see why people love these things. And they do love them, those who buy them. This is the Chrysler Pacifica, one of the newer minivans, and one that doesn't look too bad on the outside, minus its overall minivanness. So I decided to see if I could find a few ways that minivans can be cool. One of them is not driving dynamics. Look, there goes another minivan right there. Happy people. One of them is not driving dynamics. The steering is more responsive than I would guess, but it's still not amazing. There's body roll because it's a big minivan. The tires are quieter, so that's kind of good. There's a lot of sidewall, which I really like. The brakes are better than expected. Now, this is a Mopar product. same people who bring us the Charger, Hellcat, and you know the Grand Cherokee, upcoming Trackhawk, and all that stuff. So maybe there's one of these with 707 horsepower in the future, but I doubt it, and I'm not holding my breath. But this isn't bad. Not great, not terrible. It gets up and goes. I did road trip this thing out to an event in Palm Springs earlier in the week, and I exceeded the speed limit comfortably. And that's another thing, it is comfortable. There's plenty of seating for everybody. But you already know this. These are the minivan things you know. So I'm gonna explore a few other ways this might be interesting. Now, one way is to make your Chrysler Pacifica look like this. Now you see, that is a cool minivan. Another way is to just do what BC Moto did and give it a thousand horsepower. That, that's a very good way. That's, that's the best way. Another way in which you can think of the minivan to maybe give it a little bit of added coolness is to think of it as a proper road trip machine. So here's a scenario for you. What if you and three of your friends wanted to go to Vegas? What's a good vehicle for that? Well, if you have the money, certainly something like an Escalade or a Porsche Cayenne, you know, something Range Rover-y, but not everybody has that kind of dollars. You know what a good vehicle for a Vegas trip, an impromptu Vegas trip is? A minivan. You have room for all of your friends and then some. It's true. See, for example, this seat right here is where the driver, who actually is also me, would be sitting. And they're nice and comfortable, I'm nice and comfortable, and I fit behind them. If I don't like their angle, I can kick back and give myself a little bit more angle. Or bring it back up because you might want to bring a fifth person. Now, another way to do this properly is to ditch these two fools. Stow that one. Stow that one. Where's the one for this one? Stow that one. And now, you've got this. Who the hell needs a Maybach? I mean, yeah, granted, the engine, the comfort, the style, pretty much everything about that is cooler. But since we don't have Maybach dollars and we have Pacifica dollars, this is a pretty darn good way to go to Vegas or the grocery store or to your kid's soccer game or anywhere, as long as you can get someone else to drive. Again, that's me though, in this crazy analogy here. You see, you can be comfortable and your passengers can be comfortable, and you can hit the road to various destinations of varying levels of debauchery, and be comfortable, and have all your stuff, and have room to bring back new beer that you've tried, or wine, or friends, who knows, uh, gear, 
uh, anything. You can fit tons of things in here. All the seats fold down or move around and change the layout of this. If you think of it as a big, fat wagon, it starts to come around. Now, one of the best ways to make use of a minivan is to do this. So another good thing about having a minivan is the ability to store tons of things inside of it. That's why I've come to a place where I'm gonna get tons of things. Devin, this is brewery. This is where we're gonna put things in that. Do you think that's cool? I think it could be pretty cool. Let's see what we can fit. See this button? Just open that door. That's convenient. That's our gateway. Think of this as like a fat wagon, not P H A T, F A T. And we're gonna put a lot of beer in it. What do you think? Is that proof that a minivan can be cool? I mean, debatable. Debatable, uh, but I'll see you in like two weeks. Sounds good. This Chrysler Pacifica has good visibility, it has comfortable steering, it has a nice audio system with a very clean infotainment setup. It, you know, the Uconnect that you would find, the screen looks really nice, the gauges are easy to read, all of the very basics that you come to expect from a modern driving vehicle. Now, pair that with all of the various seating and storage opportunities, and maybe you start to see the bright side a little bit. semi-truck gearbox and a V6. Need the paddles. Some paddle shifters, a V8, rear wheel drive, drift van. It needs a drift van. That'd be cool. 